Civil rights are suspended as research labs work desperately to find a treatment. Research labs are working around the clock to find a treatment. Except for the breakdown of the endogenous immediate fire infections described by eyewitnesses as a rapid throttling away of the organism. Government agencies report the failure to check the spread of the disease now called the rock. Final breakdown of martial Ladies law. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be our final transmission. The fate of the world rests in God's hands now. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, step right this way. I would like to welcome you to Uncle Woody's Fun Park. We got rides at Uncle Woody's. We got booze at Uncle Woody's. We got the hottest hookers around. Come right on in and look at them. We've got dirty hookers, cheap Oh, you wasn't with the wrong bitch, asshole! Shut up, fuckbag. You must be the new guy. Yeah, the name's Mason. Good. You can shack up down the street. Meet me later. We've got a job for you. So come one, come all, to Uncle Woody's fun Look, I'm trying to be reasonable. I just can't come up with it before then. I don't care. I have to answer to Uncle Woody, and that means you answer to me! I'll be paying you a visit and bringing along some friends this time. I'm sure you still remember my friends. Yeah, yeah, I remember. We're through. I'll see you tonight. I'm trying to be reasonable. Oh, and send in a new guy. You, new guy, you here for business, or you here for pleasure? Business. Passing through my way to Paradise City. Heard you were looking for help. <laughs> Paradise City, is it? Nice bold thoughts for a nobody. You've got to earn some respect first, mate. And respect don't come easy around here. Well, I'm not here to ride the sit-and-spin, pal. Well, usually Uncle Woody runs this show. Ah, he's busy right now. So if you want to do me a favor, go over to the Palace Hotel and pick up any scrap you can find. Then pick up some weapons, and if you can handle that, I might have another job for you. Freak. Let me tell you something. One thing I can't stand is a dirtbag that can't keep his fucking mouth shut. Lesson number one. Never let anyone outside the family know your fucking business. Especially Uncle Woody's business. This scumbag tipped off the gauchos. They're waiting for him over at the parking garage. Want you to go there in his place. Warn those fucking tricks. Now, I don't ever want to see you again. Do we understand each other? <laughs> no. I, I don't think you do! Oh! That's a real nasty slice you got there, pal. Oh yeah, the fucking guy moved though, didn't he? Everything is ready, baby. I told them exactly what you said. All they need is a time and a place. That a girl? Uncle Woody's such a fuckstick. Me and Chino are gonna run this show soon. <clears throat> oh, yes. All right. Go pick up my car over at the airport. Get it repaired and then bring it back here. Nice cans. Did you like my boots? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like we'll have to make do with three then, won't we? Hang on. All right, listen. Seems we've got a troublemaker. We had a fourth girl for tonight, but she got knocked around. The gaucho that did it is pumping us out of business. He fucks with us. We fuck... We fuck with him. 
he has a shipment of booze coming in for his nightclub. I want you to drive over to the club and wait for that shipment to arrive. And when it does, I want, I want, I want you to destroy all of it. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. Drive over to the funhouse when you're finished. Uncle Woody wants to meet with you. <laughs> Looks like you're moving up, mate. <laughs> All right, girls, time to figure out which one of you little trollops gets to party with Uncle Woody tonight. Oh what say you give us a taste, then? I want to show you something, boss. <sighs> well, look what we have here. I found him nosing around the park. Get him out of there. Bring him inside. Let's hear what he has to say. Hello! Anybody running this freak show? So, you are the new guy I've been hearing about. Come over here. Let me get a look at you. Know anything about these guys? Not anything I want to remember. Well, the friend of this piece of shit drove off in one of my trucks. I want you to chase him down and get my goods back. Make sure and recover all the cargo. I don't know what these guys are up to, and I don't really care. But when someone starts snooping around in my business, I'm gonna start snooping around in theirs. Hey, scumface, what are you looking for? Don't think that keeping your mouth shut is gonna save your ass. Seat, Chino. How are things? Great, no, things are great, boss. Good, because I have some good news and some bad news, Chino. The bad news is I have a rat working for me. What's the good news? I know who the rat is. Hey, how you doing? Have a seat. Thanks, I think I'll stand. See that piece of meat? He and his friends were making deals with the gauchos behind my back. I took care of him, but his friends are waiting for him over at the airport. I want you to go take care of him. Don't let them get away. You know, I figure they're too dumb to rip me off by themselves. So when I find out who else is involved, they're gonna be fucked. So there I was, telling this guy what happens to people that steal from me. I'm not talking about just cutting off some fingers or even a hand. I'm talking about some serious pain. Then this piece of shit starts crying his eyes out on me. Please, please don't kill me, boo-hoo. <laughs> what does he think I am, fucking Mother Teresa, a fucking boy scout? So I put the gun against his head to shut him up. Forget this. The dumb fuck grabs my hand and the gun goes off. Now I'm sitting there with blood all over me, thinking I was about to let this poor bastard go with just a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, boss. Funny? What do you mean, funny? Funny how? Uh, n no, boss. I mean... Get out of my sight. <laughs> yes, boss. I got another job for you. Seems the gauchos have gotten their filthy hands on some blueprints. Steal them! I don't want a stinking gaucho driving around in some swanky new car. It's bad enough they've been stealing our weapons and selling them to Paradise City. Well, yeah, we can't have that. So, what's up? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what's up? A gun barrel up my ass. That's what's up! Would you listen to this fucking guy? As if nothing were wrong. Uncle Woody's a wee bit pissed, my friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down, girls. Pissed about what? You know what he's pissed about, you fucking rat. I don't trust you with the package. I'll deliver it myself. Package? W what the fuck are you talking about, package? You got it all mixed up. He's got a good rat. Oh, tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll kill the fucking both of you! Now, Uncle Woody knows about the deal you and Chino had with the gauchos, mate. So he decided to go ahead and deliver the fucking package himself. Chino. 
fuck, he worked for you. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. You never said anything about killing him. Yeah, well, there's a time to talk and there's a time to shoot, isn't there? Look, someone's got to make that fucking delivery, and it's sure as shit not gonna be him. Oh, that was productive. Fucking retards. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Whoa, whoa, now hang on a sec, Uncle Woody. I came here to work this out, all right? Not get shot. It's a pity. I kind of liked you. Okay, fine, fat man, if this is the way you want it. It doesn't matter to me if I have to kill you or not. You're just another fucking cockroach to me anyway. All good things must come to an end. Vision. I have monumental plans for a new city. Glorious plans. Now that we've driven off the other gangs, it's time to rebuild. Rebuild a society the way it should be. Well, it all starts with calming this chaos. You gotta gain the trust of the people. Yes, gaining their trust. Every person between here and the Waste will be under sentinel control. I want them eating out of my hands. They will bow to me. That's a whole nother fight. Yes, in time this will all be ours. I am your drill instructor. From now on, you pukes will respond to me with sir. Do you understand? Sir, yes, yes sir. <coughs> I will mold you into section eight. I will strip you down and turn you into fucking robots. You will not feel pain. You will not feel remorse. You will kill the enemy. Who is the enemy? The Talon, sir! Say it like your life depends on it! The Talon, sir! <clears throat> Somehow I doubt you're here to join as a recruit there, sweet cheeks. True. I heard you guys could use some help. Normally our squad runs as a self-sufficient fighting unit. However, there are circumstances that arise when we like to use someone from the outside. Someone discreet. So, you need someone to do your dirty work. You bet your sweet fucking ass. Well, then I'm your guy. Good. We're currently at war with the Talons. I need someone to protect our scout as it travels into enemy territory and gathers information. It's your assignment if you want it, cutie. Mm. Time to find out how good a shot you are, soldier. I need a sniper for this next assignment. Very nice. Don't be afraid to choke up on it. Two-hander, huh? Oh, oh, I used to live there. It was a nice place, one bedroom. Eeny, meeny, miny, ho. Holy shit, I found a target. Talent scout on the roof of the Narco Lux. Kill him! Very nice. I like the way you're holding that weapon, soldier. Oh, what is he wearing? God, would you shut up and brush your teeth? Somehow I figured you'd be a natural. Okay, here's the assignment. A Talon vehicle will be dropping off gang members to reinforce their positions. Follow the vehicle and keep out of sight. Take out each gang member as he's dropped off, and don't let any get away. What's your problem, Private? I'm ready, sir! What's that, Private? What exactly are you ready for? You said that when I was ready to take you on, I should let you know, sir! <laughs> Go ahead! I need you, Sweet Cheeks, to steal back a briefcase from the Talons. It contains layouts for the sewers in Paradise City. Move out and wait for the target near the drive-in. The briefcase! Stop him! You did good, ladies. The Talons will think twice about attacking again. Bad news. Warwick's son was captured and is being held hostage by the Talons. I want you to sneak in and bring him back. By the way, Warwick is anxious to meet you. It looks like you'll be moving up. 
Get your sweet little ass over to headquarters as soon as you finish this assignment. Mm. Psst, come over here. What the fuck? Keeping your mouth shut won't save you. If you leave it up to me, I'd sooner break your face than disappoint General Warwick. Tell me the name! Tell me the name! Ah, fuck! Tell me the name! One of our patrols captured a Talon scout. That maggot ratted out his whole clan when we ripped off all his fingernails. We know where Drake is, and he's second to Gordon Grimm. This is a chance to gain the initiative. Go to the parking garage. Eliminate Drake. This is where we lost the cargo. The Sentinels are no doubt making their way out of the canyon and back to Paradise City by now. Mason, this is Job. He's got a favor to ask us. What's that? We found a new weapon, a rocket of some sort. We pulled it from a military base. No one knows how the weapon works, but the Sentinels seem to think it's important. They jumped our transport and took off with the weapon. Recover the weapon. We need everything we can get our hands on to finish off this operation. All right, whatever you say, General. You! How's Uncle Woody? What'd you do with his body? What's the matter with you? This is Mason, one of our finest. Quit being such a prom queen. Yeah, yeah, I know who he is. But what the hell is he doing here? He enlisted with us. He works for the Section 8. And you trust him? Yeah. I'm in debt to him. What's your problem? We've made a strategic alliance with the Daredevils. They're willing to trade with us instead of the Gauchos. I want you to protect our first investment as far as the tunnel. Protect the convoy. Make sure nothing happens. No problemo. We're on the brink of driving out the Talons. We've overtaken their supply lines. We've assassinated Drake, Gordon Grimm, and a few Talon holdouts are the only ones standing between a complete Section 8 victory. We have an operation in the works, Operation Dead Lead. Intelligence has verified that the remaining Talons are bunkered down at the parking garage. We'll concentrate all our forces there to wipe those bastards out. Mason, you'll take a position at the drive-in. That's the only path they can use to escape. Take out any Talons and flee. What are we gonna do about Mason, boss? He's growing too big for his britches. You know he's going directly against your orders? <laughs> Not to worry. I'll deal with him soon enough. He doesn't see that they're cattle. They can't think for themselves. I brought them order. I drove out the chaos. I can set up a little accident. Unless you want to take care of it, boss. Yes, yes. I'll take care of it. Say goodbye, Mason. <laughs> Yo, you looking for someone, pencil neck? It's not you, football boy. Yo, if you got business with South Lee, you talks to me. I know you? Yeah. You're the one that offed Woody and wasted Gordon Grimm. Yeah, I couldn't help myself. So what brings you here? I'm looking for the guy in charge. That'd be Coach Knox. He's one bad dude, if you know what I mean. Knox runs this town, huh? No, punk ass. Knox runs South League. It's Axel and his damn sentinels that rule this town. At least for now. Axel, huh? You know Axel. Well, let's just say we go way back. Look, I don't know if you're interested or not, 
but I got a job that needs to get done pronto. The job's simple, really. A weekly bribe, if you will. We like to sauce up the Sentinels with a special little brew of ours. Why don't you head out back? You can make a few deliveries for me. Fast and carefree, that's me. Not to mention cute. What do you think, Mason? Nice view. Hey, it's not bad, but uh, I prefer looking at your mom. Stick to playing stupid instead of funny. Suits you better. Listen, you did a good job dealing with the Sentinels on that last run. Now that we've taken care of that small problem, we've got to deal with the dregs. You interested? This one will need a bit of finesse. A lady's touch, if you will. Lady's touch, huh? Well, that's definitely got Spike written all over it. What the hell do you need me for? Look, we're gunning for the dregs. The funny thing is, the dregs are gunning for the Sentinels. W wait a minute. Can't we just let them take each other out? That sounds like a no-brainer to me. I can't risk the dregs getting too strong. If they do, they could turn their attention to South League. Right now, it's too risky to hit them. Too much is at stake. All right, so what do you want me to do? I got my hands on a new toy out back. See if you can put it to good use. You're becoming quite the hero around here. Yeah, well, whatever it takes to please the ladies. We got a warehouse over on Death Street. The drag lords keep attacking the building. They must have found out about the weapons stash. I need you to drive them off. We can't let them get their grubby little fingers on those weapons, or we're all done for. Oh, weapons stash, huh? Stop it, you're getting me all excited. Yeah, I've got quite the stockpile, let me tell you. <laughs> hey, Knox got caught last night with his pants down. The Sentinels got him on lockdown at the police station. Oh, what did that asshole do? As usual, he was drunk and banging some hoe in the back of his van. The poor guy, I guess he didn't realize he was parked behind the police station. Everyone knows that Sentinel turf. He should have known better. So you're telling me Knox needs a rescue? Exactly. They've posted guards all over the place. Find some explosives, blow the damn building, bring Knox back. Wanna read me my rights and cuff me? Don't touch the beaver boy. What the fuck? Come on! Oh, I'm sorry, did I come at a bad time? Mason, we gotta do something. I want these bricks out of here. We can't just kick them out. We gotta get creative. Find something of theirs to destroy. A call will go out and they'll be forced to respond. I don't care what you destroy. Just hurry it up so we can get them the fuck out of here. Don't touch. Oh, yeah, you like get that? Get your fucking hands off her! Mason, get your ass over here. I heard about your little run-in with the Sentinels last night. And I have to tell you, that was fucking brilliant. It's triple OT and the game's on the line. South League versus Sentinels, Dregs versus South League, and the Sentinels versus everyone. It's a whole lot of bullshit. Ah, oh, sounds like my kind of game. Let me lay it down for you. Here's the game plan. First, we deal with Sage and his gang of Dregs. They've been blitzing us hard, harder than a motherfucker. Then we deal with Axel and then the Sentinels. Then he tells me you and Axel are old teammates. Well, we're, no, no, we're just, look, I'm gonna kick his fucking ass when I see him, all right? So you two are on opposite sides of the ball. I see a tremendous rivalry in the making. For now, I have a play for you. Bronx, get your ass in here. Uh, yeah, coach. Bronx, take Mason here. Show him how we do our run and shoot offense. Our offensive play calling has crushed Sage's defense. He's agreed to sell the score with a little sporting event. And by sporting event, you of course mean... A race. A race? That's right. And I'm not about to put myself in the driver's seat. I'm too old for that shit. Who's racing? Sage and one of our drivers. Winner fucks a prom queen. Loser dies. Goody, I'm driving. Let's go. Thought you'd say that. He's waiting down at the pier. Mason, I want to show you something. 
We've driven back to Dreadlords for now. And after what you did to Sage, they'll be out of commission for quite some time. It's time for the playoffs, Mason. Time to take it to the Sentinels. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. They've established these strong points around the city. We've got the guns. We've got the rockets. Hell, we've got the fucking bombs. Let's blow a hole through their defensive line and set them up for the knockout punch. Axel sent a message to me personally. He warned me against future aggressions towards the city. He's scared. Damn right he is. We've never been this close to taking the city. And I have just the plan to finish him off. Yeah? What you got in mind? Think, what does he do best? Runs his mouth like a three-year-old in a candy store. Exactly. I'm gonna put an end to those broadcasts. God damn, Mason. You're definitely in the running for MVP. Go get him. Ooh, right there, baby. Spread Eagle on the ground now! You cannot escape! This is your final warning! You know, Axel, if you wanted to get rid of me, you should have done the job yourself. And now you've come all this way just to let me finish the job. You didn't have the balls then. You think you got him now. You spineless, worthless piece of shit. Look what I've built in your absence. Look how many lives I've bettered. All you've brought to this city is murder, death, and suffering. Oh, you call enslaving the masses bettering their lives? Look, I don't give two shits about the fucked up fantasy you created in your mind, pal. All I know is, you're a dead man. Ha! You never do learn. I beat you then, I'll beat you now. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Bring it. What the hell? Fucking coward. We need help. We've heard there's someone that's been cleaning up Paradise City, overdoing all the gangs and setting things right. We need that kind of help here. If you can hear this broadcast, please come. I should slow down. Anyone, please help us. We need your help. Buckle up, kids. Here we go again. 